Hi, I'm Katherine Heigl. My name is Alex Scobie. I'm Ron Curtis. I'm Ben Lawson. Hey, I'm Sarah Chalk, and this is Firefly Lane from A to Z. A is for awesome, because this show and this experience was awesome. B is for Bo Garrett and Ben Lawson, who are our Johnny and Cloud, and C is for cool because Tully is very cool. She's the ultimate cool chick. D is for dancing. There's a lot of dancing in the show and we did a lot of dancing off camera on the show. And you'll get to see some of my, um, my sweet 70s moves. <laughs> e is for 80s, which is the clearly the best uh, decade in which our show is set. <clears throat> uh, as we get all those amazing 80s costumes and wigs. F is for Firefly Lane. G could be for Gush about how groundbreaking and genius our gifted creator Maggie Friedman was, or I could talk about how much we grinned and giggled on the set because we did. The grooviness of the 1970s tempted me for a second. Gratitude is my overall emotion for this job, this show, this whole experience, but I'm going to go with gag reel. G is for gag reel because it was one of the longest gag reels I think of any job I've ever worked on. We had a lot of fun. H is for heartwarming because Firefly Lane is very heartwarming and makes you feel very warm and happy. I is for, um, oh, ironic, which is an Alanis Morissette song. And that was mine and Allie's uh, season anthem. We listened to it almost every day and I could not tell you why. J would be for joking around, which happens uh, far too often on our set when, uh, the camera operators are ready to roll up and our cast is still um, messing around. K is for Katherine Heigl and Kristen Hanna. L is for love and there's a lot of it in the show. Without love, there's no story at all. So, you know, the, the central theme, I think, of this whole show is love. Between friends, between lovers, between partners in a marriage, outside of a marriage. Um, and all the complexities that come with it. M is for money, because Tully has a lot of it. <laughs> and it's for news, uh, because Tully and Kate and Johnny and Matt and the whole crew uh, work for a news station. I'm gonna say O is for on camera, which is a huge driving force in the show. Tully Hart is desperate to get on camera and uh, she gets her moment. In a, in a particular scene about halfway through season one when she's involved in uh, a story at the convenience store and I won't say anymore. P is for Paul, who plays Bud, Kate's dad. Q is for quantifiable because it is not quantifiable how much I loved this whole experience. R is for romance because what else? I mean, there's lots of romance that happens in our show. S is for sassy because there's some sassy, sexy scenes in this show. <laughs> Cully, obviously. That one I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> you is for unrealized dreams. Um, Johnny Ryan is um, is constantly in uh, in conflict with himself about uh, having not fulfilled what he considers what he was born to do. V is for visionary for Maggie Friedman, who had the most amazing vision for this show. And I couldn't believe it every time I read a script. W is for wild, because Tully's very wild. And both Tully and Kate are always getting into very reckless, wild things. <laughs> of course, I would get X. Um, X is for um, X Factor which Tully has, uh, which kind of allows her to to advance in her career and in her personal life, because she's got a little bit of a je ne sais quoi. Y is for you're gonna love it, so tune in. Z is for zesty, because our show is very zany and fun and with all the cool 70s costumes in our era, I think that it's very different. And that is the alphabet according to Firefly Lane.